Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, today is Saturday, May 28th. We're uh, headed over uh, to a car show over in Bryan, Ohio that we like to go to every year. Uh, a lot of good car friends over in Bryan. So, we're going to head over there and hopefully have a good day. Uh, we might get wet today, but uh, we'll see. Well, we're here in uh, we're here in, in uh, Bryan, Ohio. Uh, we're at uh, uh, elementary school, and this is a car show that I like to come to every year if possible. So, uh, pretty good turnout today. It's uh, been a little wet. Uh, ran into wet roads coming over this morning and then once here it has rained once so we're hoping it's going to hold off but you never know anyway uh, still a lot of cool cars here so uh, we'll get around and get some pictures and some footage that I uh, hope you'll like so uh, we'll be catching you later bye We have a 1927 Essex Boat Tail Roadster. Okay. Uh, it is one of a, either five or seven, we aren't real sure, but it's built by Biddle and Smart in Connecticut. Okay. And uh, it was a, a sporty runabout type of vehicle that the very wealthy young man would have. Is that right? Bought for him. <laughs> And he could have went to the country club with it. It has a rumble seat in the back, oh, very yeah. small rumble seat. Uh, now look, it looks like it looks like a a, a bigger Model A. Yeah. I, I, it was intended to be that way. Well, not intended, but well, most of the cars back then, same style. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, this one here uh, is just a real nice running car. It's a very attractive car. It is. And it, uh, it's part of the Hudson collection in uh, Chipsawana, Indiana. Oh, in Chipsawana. And you're, you're with the Hudson I'm Museum. I'm with the Hudson Museum, yes. In Chipsawana. Yeah. Okay. And we, uh, we're open every week from Tuesday through Saturday. I got to get up there to that. I, I, I went up, fi finally got up to the Gilmore Museum. Uh, in Hickory Corners, but uh, I need to get up well, to, to see you. has 13 more cars up there. You've <laughs> seen the Hudson's up there. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. Then you know, uh, you know the people in our uh, car club in Auburn, the Pon Pontius uh, yeah, yeah. family. They are big uh, Hudson uh, Hudson people. Well, I belong to the AACA region up there. Auburn. Oh, do you? Yeah. Okay. Well, this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. What, what kind of engine does it run? It's got a little four-cylinder. Uh, four-cylinder. Four cylinder. Six oh, it's a six-cylinder. Yeah, okay. six Very small set. Yeah. But how much would it this have cost back in the day, would you guess? Uh, around 600 and some dollars. Really? Between six and 700. Of course, in 1928, that was a lot of money, wasn't it? Yes. Great, great. And it is a boat tail. That's that's interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, thank you very much. Nineteen twenty-eight Essex. Well, the, the, the wind's blowing a little bit. I hope it doesn't uh, uh, dis uh, disrupt the sound here. But this is a cool car. I may have, I don't know, I may have videoed this in past years. There's the wind again. This is a 1960 Chevy 409. And it says it's a Bel Air on the side. I think they had the Biscayne at that time, but this is a Bel Air? Absolutely. Okay. Two-door sedan. Air 
there's a two-door, there's an Impala, two-door hardtop, and a two-door sedan. Okay. The car was sitting next to the Impala, you can see the difference. This is the start of the bubble top right here. It's got a higher roof line, a shorter trunk line than the Impala. Okay. Now they had a Biscayne, didn't they, yep, they this had year? they Biscayne and they had another model too. Was it a... Del Rey. Del Rey, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Cool, very nice. Oh, thank you very much. All right. Oh, we got a little history there on it. So, nice, nice, nice car, nice car. All right. We're going to have to go Everybody vote here. Can, uh, get vote get the votes I wanted in, to get, get some uh, as as video on this beautiful 55 Ford. Uh, I was talking to the uh, uh, young lady here that owns it, and uh, it was her father's. And he said he had it some 25 years or so. Yeah, and he just passed away in, in last March. So she inherited the car. And I just had to get some t uh, video on this because it's just a beautiful 55 Crown Victoria. And apparently he did all the uh, work on it. Uh, it's a standard shift. And uh, she says the car came out of, originally came out of Colorado. So uh, we'll go around here to the back and get some look at it. It's done very well. It's done very well. It's uh, it's just a really clean, clean looking car and uh, brings back a lot of memories. I remember, the, I remember these cars very well. 55, 55 Ford Crown Victoria. All right, moving on. Well, I thought I'd get a little uh, <coughs> footage on this Falcon. Uh, this is not your uh, normal Falcon. <laughs> uh, this is very unusual. Don't see uh, uh, many Falcons done like this. But uh, this is this is quite a uh, quite a deal here. And I don't think this was uh, meant to just do uh, some uh, evening cruising yet. <laughs> so thought I would uh, do a little walk around on this. Uh, I see the name of it's short and sweet. <laughs> this is a guy out of Michigan. <clears throat> they come down for this from time to time. But uh, I don't think I've ever seen this before. So uh, very nice. Looks like it's a removable top. That's set right over there, as a matter of fact. So, uh, this is done different. This is done different. All right, Little Falcon. I'd say this is a 19, originally a 1963 Falcon. All right. There you go.
Well, uh, car show is over in uh, Bryan. We're headed home. And I just stopped by in a little uh, town called Farmer. And uh, to adjust some uh, things that I didn't get packed right. So uh, we'll uh, be heading home for uh, a lot of fun this weekend with uh, grandkids. Uh, Redbird Special got a top 40 award today, so we're very pleased with that. So, uh, getting ready to head home and uh, get back on the road here. So, we will catch you later. Uh, Redbird Special is going to be in a Memorial Day parade uh, this Monday. So, I'll uh, try and get some footage of that event too. So, we'll see you later. Bye.